Okay, so this is my stock blank. I actually cut a piece off of this side here. Um, 27 pounds before I cut the piece off. So this piece is itself pretty heavy. Uh, <coughs> but it's, uh, it's the right shape. Pretty good wood. Uh, as far as the uh, pieces go, split apart. All three pieces. Uh, this is the one that I was concerned about the joint of glue, and there's and this is the way it fit together. Uh, there's glue on both edges on this piece, a little bit ran down in the center here on the end <coughs> where it wasn't touching. Uh, definitely not enough attachment power, but it's mostly on how I joined it. They suggested to do glue it on both sides. Uh, this is a quick the epoxy on both pieces and then from there then do the joining. On this piece I don't think I really hit it very much at all. I was able to pull it apart with a fair bit of force. On this piece I did it fully and you can see here where it actually pulled the wood off of this board and it's stuck on this side here with the lighter color. I don't know if you can see that or not. <coughs> but on this one, it didn't connect in all places. If I had it buttered it on both sides, it probably would have connected in all spots and held a lot better. But I probably would have needed to use a lot more epoxy to do that. And uh, taking a lot more effort as well. The epoxy pretty much totally soaked into the surface, only a little bit squeezed out. And with epoxy, you need a thicker seam. You can't actually have it down to be an invisible seam. Um, for the polyurethane, you can. So, I'm probably going to go with the polyurethane for this. I think I'm going to take this apart, that, those ones there, and we glue them with polyurethane because I think it's going to come apart too easy. And when I form a rifle out of it, it's probably going to break if I didn't. So, I'll have more on that later.